I'm not going to expose anyone, don't worry. I'm moving on with my life as of today and karma will catch up to everyone that has done wrong. Even you SJWs thinking calling me racist makes them a better person. These people will make anything racist nowadays. Welcome to 2022. Dude, and I'm getting tight right. right now because what you said was out of pocket. I'm sorry, and you I'm call sorry me that you have a black skin color. It was not a rose. It was not a rose, dude. No, but he's saying to me, he's saying, I don't need to hear that I'm black. I'm sorry you have a black skin color. I'm sorry. Yeah, I agree, Dunya. They make anything racist. I agree, I'm on your side. So if you don't know who Dunya is, pretty much, I would tell you a whole story about how she became an internet sensation, but... The reality of it is, she's just Deji's girlfriend, or now ex-girlfriend. Because Deji, being a lovely man, broke up with her. But we'll get into that later on. So Dunya is known for a lot of good stuff, such as uh, putting Nutella on her face, and then going up to Deji's black parents and saying, I'm black now. I, I want your opinion on something. Okay, Dunya, come in, please. Alright, Dad, I need your opinion on something. Look at yeah. Junior. My <laughs> <Hi>, brother. <laughs> She's black. Do, do you like it? Dad likes it. <laughs> it doesn't suit her. It, what, what, it doesn't suit her. But that was just a. Uh... A meme, a funny moment. I genuinely do think that was funny, by the way. I'm not trying to shit on it for that. I think that whole video was funny. But yeah, so for context of what happened, Dunya went on this e-dating show and uh, things got a little bit heated, you know. This guy said she has a big nose and she said this back to him. Fat ass, that, that, that fat ass, ass nose gotta go too. Fat ass nose? Wait, yeah. Fat ass nose? I mean, you're black. You're black. You're literally black. Who are you gonna talk about fat ass nose? We can't. All right, all right. Whoa. 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 We gotta chill because we can't. The, the chat's no. getting way too toxic, and like we can't. Be talking about I just love that evil keckle she does after the fucking after the, the clip after she literally just said you're black. But no, in context, the joke that she made, the joke that she made, kind of makes sense, you know, because that guy said she had a big nose, and then it's a bit ironic considering stereotypically black people tend to have big noses. That's the whole joke she was making. Whether it was funny or not is up for fucking debate. But yeah, it's safe to say after. That clip was uh, exposed to the world on a live stream, an e-dating stream. She went into damage control mode. She tweeted this Twitter apology. She made a YouTube video about it. And we're going to look at both of those to see how fucking amazing they are and if they follow the typical fucking YouTuber apology rules. So first she's tweeted out this and she said, I don't even know where to start. I said a terrible stereotypical remark which came across as very racist. I never intended to be racist. Sure you didn't. Love, I'm, I'm fucking sure you didn't. But that doesn't mean that certain things don't come across as racist. Thank you, Einstein. I appreciate that. There is no excuse for what I did, but I really feel bad and take full accountability for my actions. I'm very sorry to everyone I hurt with what I said. I truly am sorry. Which, it's an alright response. It's an alright apology. At least she actually said sorry, something a lot of YouTubers don't even fucking doing their apologies. But then we go on to her YouTube apology, which we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna look at real quick. It's amazing, honestly. One of the best ones I've ever seen. I wanted to come on here and take my time to apologize about what happened this morning. And if you don't know what happened this morning, I'll just quickly give you a background story. So this morning I was on a couple's stream and we were doing an e-date that they invited me to. And I said some horrible, horrible things to basically everyone which I feel really bad about, but I said some horrible racist remarks as well. I said a lot of stereotypical bad stuff that should have never been said. And at the moment itself, I didn't realize how many people I was hurting with what I said. I was being a bitch. I was being an absolute dick. I said a lot of racist things to people of color which makes it even worse. It, it was really, really bad. I'm feeding into these stereotypes and, and, and there's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world and I'm feeding into it and it's terrible. I take full accountability for what I did and I deserve everything that's coming my way. Again, I am so sorry to everyone I hurt with what I said. The people on stream, the people that watch the stream, everyone. I am so, so, so sorry. I came with such a bad attitude to that stream should have never went on the stream with the intent of trolling and being rude like it was so stupid and, and people trying to defend me please don't people have also taken clips out of context where i apparently said the n-word where i did blackface those were taken out of context sorry to interrupt the apology there but um <laughs> 
how, how do you take those out of context? <laughs> Guys, I did blackface in a video. They took it out of context, though. I, I, listen, it wasn't intended racist. They took the blackface out of context. And me saying the N-word, that was also out of context. Dunya, I don't know how you take that shit out of context, but if you say so, my friend, if you say so. But the clips weren't. If you can still watch the VOD, you can watch the VOD. And it's bad again it probably doesn't mean anything to you but i am truly 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 sorry for what i said and what i did and how i acted and everything i'm so sorry as you can see there she was starting to cry you know i presume to make people feel bad for it but uh no one thing i actually find funny that after this came out deji dropped her deji literally came out with a video and he was like yeah me and dunya i haven't been dating since december and it's funny because he could have said this at any time he claimed he didn't want to make it public, but uh, he made this video called I did not want to make this, which obviously he made it because she's now a racist. She now hates all black people, when in reality, in my opinion, I think it's just typical trash talk on the internet, like typical fucking shit talking to each other. Things can get heated and sometimes a few gamer words can be said. Obviously, it's a bit stupid to do it when you've got an audience of 400,000, but I digress. Let's watch Deji's video. Let's see what amazing shit he says of why he's now not friends with Dunya anymore. They've, they're, they're not playing together anymore. He's not gonna use her and make her do black facing videos anymore just cause he needs views, okay? But let's take a look at Deji's response. Hey, what's up guys, it's Deji. So I didn't want to make this video until after my fight, but due to like recent events, uh, it's, it's kind of been forced. I've had to force my hand. Maybe some of you will know, but Dunya, she's been involved in some controversy. She went on an e-date show and said a racial remark to a black person. And from that, I can see that she's being labeled as Deji's girlfriend. And I just wanted to bring awareness to the fact that Dunya and I, we uh, were not together. In fact, we broke up early December, but it was a mutual thing. Like there was no toxicity. We both understood that I want to focus on my career. I want to focus on boxing. It's my main focus and I don't have the time for her. That, that is the funniest shit ever yet. Yeah, sorry, babe, but uh, fuck you, I'm gonna box. Keep in mind, by the way, she's been with Deji supporting him through all of his L's, his fucking L's that he's taking in boxing. She was there, she was like, It's okay, Deji, we can get through this together. But uh, now that Deji has uh, got in shape, he thinks he's buff, he thinks he's a buff ting nowadays, uh, he dropped her. <laughs> that, that's just funny to me, I don't know. Also, he, he said this. Like, there was no toxicity. I don't know, Deji, but this tweet, it doesn't seem like there was no fucking toxicity. I always had everyone's back, no matter what they did. But the moment I messed up, that's it. I'm on my own. Yes, it feels bad to suddenly be the bad guy. I thought you, out of all people, would understand. Now, it doesn't take a fucking genius to realise that's subtweeted at Deji. She says, I always had everyone's back when, in reality, she's just talking about Deji, which is true, she did have his back. And Deji literally just dropped her instantly. I'm not going to play the rest because Deji just repeats himself quite a lot, but pretty much he says he doesn't think Dunya's actually racist. He thinks she's just a retard, pretty much, and said something fucked up in a heated situation, which is fair. We've all done it. If you say you haven't, you're fucking lying. But I, uh, I think it's fair to say Dunya went on to have quite the joker moment on Twitter, let's be honest. So after she tweeted her apology, she said, Also, if I ever do decide to delete all my socials, don't think it's because of you people telling me to kill myself. It's because I know who I am and I refuse to sit here and beg for forgiveness for some Twitter and YouTube likes. Well, uh, I'm just saying, love, you better sign that fucking McDonald's application. But yeah, I think this whole situation, in all honesty, is being blown out of proportion sure you can agree she was a little she said some racist things she said some edgy things but it all boils down to just being trash talk she was in a heated moment she was pissed at the guy that said she had a big nose because she's self-conscious or some shit i don't fucking know and uh she said some heated things on a live stream to about two people i don't know who the who the guys that were streaming it were but she went on an e-dating fucking stream which um i'm not gonna lie she deserves everything she's getting just for that. But the thing is that people fail to realize is this has kind of always been happening since the start of a relationship. They've both always been making racial stereotype type jokes towards each other. I mean, literally me and Mayhem last night on her stream, we were watching the video where she did the naughty black face 
And uh, she literally called Deji a slave driver. Like, uh, this was commonplace between those two. So it would make sense why she's now used to saying stuff like that in the public. Down and stay still. Slave driver. Wait, tie your hair back. Well, Guys, just keep oh. your mouth Wait, you what the hell the word? Did, what? Hold on. She just said the word slave driver. I just unpaused at the worst possible moment. What were you saying? Wait, go back. Just sit down and stay still. Slave driver. Wait, tie your hair back, by the way. <laughs> oh, I don't what? Have to tie this? Why she, she look like? Yeah, she called him that. Something that I also picked up on, like minus all the shit of me saying, oh, it's just a funny joke, funny memes, just shit talking. I picked up on the fact that she's apologetic, but also not really. Like she made the apology saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm taking full accountability. And then she says, you're all SGWs. You think I'm racist when just accept the facts, bitch. But once again, we can just boil this down to being a woman moment. Am I right, boys? Let's fucking go. But yeah, I'm just trolling at this point. That's been it from me for today's video, boys. Appreciate you for watching. Quick tip for all the gamers out there that are planning on going on e-dating live streams. Don't make fun of someone for being black. I know, bit out there, probably very hard to do. Just don't do it. Trust me, it'll save your ass later on. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me for today's video, boys. This video might get age restricted because of the thumbnail, because it's got a uh, hair with Nutella on a face in it. So if you could leave a like and subscribe, be sure to help me grow my channel to 1,000 subscribers because we are cool. But yeah, it's all from me. See you in the next one, boys. Peace out, people. Later.